Everybody, in honor of this day of labor, Mark and Matt have brought us together to not labor at all. You guys are going to be laboring, making That's some right. delicious food for us, you'll for the whole family. Yeah, so this is very laboring. exciting. Yeah. It's a block party feast. Yes, it is. All right, um, let's start with you. Yeah. Mar uh, Matt, excuse me, whatever your name is. <laughs> let's start with you. <laughs> Mark. You sound like my Matt. mother used to. Let's start with you. No, You're I'm just kidding. You're making this pulled chicken sandwich. Yes, the pulled chicken sandwich. And I like how you said the pulled right there, because that's exactly what it is. You're going to pull the chicken. And I told you in the open my secret ingredient. And here it is. Root beer. What? Yeah. Root beer is the secret ingredient. So in Tennessee, you know. Dig in, you guys, by the way. Dig yes. in oh, root beer. Remember, are, listen, we went to Dollywood, to. and in Tennessee, in the South, the big thing is the spicy you, chicken Aura. sandwich, yeah. and it is phenomenal. Yeah, what I didn't want to do is try to compete with that. So my kids love root beer. I love root beer. Everybody at home loves root beer. And I'm telling you, this thing is magical. Oh so gosh, you take your you chicken, pull the chicken off, Cut. and you're going you're gonna to slow cook the chicken with one cup of root beer for six to eight hours. So when that's done, you have your chicken right here. And then take another one cup of barbecue sauce. And I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, when you slow cook that chicken in the root beer, you also want to add some salt and pepper. So slow cook it, salt, pepper, root beer. Ooh. And then after it's done. I would have never thought root beer. I know, but mm. the way it sits in the chicken, yeah. oh, it gives it a flavor and a kick. Kim, be honest with me. Nah, Do you I love, love it? it. I love really? it. Come on. It's she hasn't had a bite yet. She's <laughs> 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 eating blueberry pie. She's eating straight to the pie. Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> Who makes take that? rules? Okay. I'm a rule take breaker. Bun. <laughs> Deb, take your buns. Okay. Fill it with the pulled chicken oh, with the root <laughs> beer. And then on top of that, I mean, you can make it a lot prettier. No, and I love that I said Rogers that's okay. Wait a minute. We want like some like coleslaw, coleslaw in it. And you know what? I bet you that root beer sort of tenderizes the chicken. Really it really oh, does. Oh, you topped it off right? with slaw. No, yeah. Mark, I know you're about to talk. Oh, my gosh. But if we had a pickle. You can't take a bite before you talk. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. You look gorgeous today. I can. You look fantastic. Fantastic Labor Day fashion. Know, Look at that. So if we had pickles too to put in there. Someone mm. get Mark a napkin. Hurry, it's gonna mm. affect his contract. Get him some stuff. <laughs> here, here, here. Let me see. Oh, How good goodness. is that though? Amazing. That's so good. Is I mean, that good? Amazing. Well, you know, just, Mark, making bread with, with with your neighbors and a block party is is awesome. Well, like you said earlier, you you can get a little corny. I can get a little corny. So you are in charge of making our corn. Well, I just want to say from when, Iowa? It, when it comes to corny, I'm the colonel. Uh, <laughs> no high hat. Wow. Oh my gosh, wow. even better. Da, da, da. Uh, I'm telling you, I worked all day for that one. So That's look, funny. I grew up in Iowa. We used to we used to walk corn, which was e-tasseling corn, but the sweet corn in Iowa, there's nothing like it. I have some of the best memories of going to corn boils as a kid. But um, there's, uh, there's ways to kick it up a notch. Now, we can do it simple, which I'm going to show you what we used to do. But when you grill corn, you wow. know, you, a lot of times you just put it in, sort of boil it, you know. Uh, but you grill it. When you're, do, when you're grilling corn, you put it on each side two, three minutes and just, just get a, a little charred. Okay. That's all you really need to do. You don't need to, you know, overcook it or whatnot. I like corn when it's a little firm, not so mushy. Yeah. Okay. So you grill it. We're keeping it in the husk, yeah? We keep it in the husk. That's going to give it a little bit more of a, a steamed scent okay. feel to it. Uh, but, and then you still you have to pull it all off. I like to, I like to peel it beforehand. Okay. So there's a couple we have here. I'm going to, the, the very natural way to do it, and this is what we do back home, is just a little wonderful butter. Yep. You just drip it on top. Right? Oh my gosh, just got a little butter, <laughs> she said. You just do a little, a little butter. Because no, when it's warm, it just melts in. Oh. Sometimes we would actually have a uh, melted butter in your tongs and just dip it in. Wow. It's what the best way to do it, and then it kind of runs off. Julie, this is yeah. why you married this corn boy, didn't you? That's right. You like how I catch you right as you're biting the corn? <laughs> so like good. It. There it is. That's right. I've taught her well. And then just a simple salt on top of it. Salt and butter is the best way to do it. There you go. Get in there. Uh, but there's a combination of things you can do. You can take that butter, mix it up a little bit with some cilantro. Um, you can put different kinds of cheese in it. This is co cojita, am I saying? Cotija. Cotija, cheese. It's so good. Uh, that's mixed in with it, drizzled over the top. That's then, a little Mexican flair. To that's it. a little Mexican flair. I like things that fight back, mm. right? Yeah. I like my food that kicks a little bit. So this is a sriracha, butter, and mm. mayo mixed together, topped oh, off with idea. jalapeno. These are all really great ideas. Better than butter and sriracha. It's not your just regular old barbecue. How are you guys hot. doing down there? No one's oh talking. It's too late. Okay. <laughs> Did you even That's a good recipe, Mark. Mark. Because it's I have butter. I'm going to have to watch the show back. I have yeah. no idea what you said. Jenny just delicious. said, I love butter. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? After you, you have all this food, you clearly need something to wash it down with, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm. So as you see in front of you guys, you've got the root beer, but you also have, people call it Tennessee lemonade. Some people call it Virginia. 
Virginia lemonade. I said before, I call it the table wine of the South. <laughs> All it is, you guys, is everyone in the South is, you know, if it's the summertime and it's an adult libation, people make this at barbecues all the time. It really is a staple. All it is is lemonade. Whatever kind of lemonade you want to make, you can just make fresh lemonade or you can make, you can just get store-bought lemonade. Put lemon verbena in it because it sort of makes it, makes it a little fancier. <laughs> um, slice up some lemons. And then what you do is you top it off with some Southern whiskey, <laughs> whatever it is. Yeah. Tennessee whiskey. Exactly. A little bit or a lot. It's up to you. Whatever tickles your taste buds. And well, I'm going to give you guys some of this, you and it's going to tickle bit. your taste buds. You know what I think we go. should do too? I think we put, tip tip a few there, and then yeah. let's. Oh, I said we raise a glass. Yeah. This is Labor Day to all those hardworking yep. Americans out there Amen. that go to work each oh, and every day for their family, for their children. Oh,